Hey guys, it's Cole here, your nerdy guy, here for another video. This video should be coming out on Christmas, if I'm correct. Uh, so I just want to talk about something before, you know, anyone really gets to see it. Uh, and that includes my wife. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, this is actually a little Christmas video that's going to be directed at something that my, pretty much for my wife. I uh, hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys don't, then no one cares what you enjoy. It is all about me and my happiness and what makes me happy. The rest of you guys can just leave me alone. I don't even need you. Kidding. Please, no, subscribe and like this video. Let's get started. This is what my wife got me for Christmas. And to some people, it won't seem like a really big deal. Um, if you know me, I'm actually becoming a very big pop collector. And this was the 2020... Um, fall convention limited edition Danny Phantom Pop and it came out for Target as a Target exclusive because you know obviously conventions didn't happen um, and the only reason why I found out about it is because my friend while I was working at GameStop uh, and he me and him were working together and we were talking about like what it would take for him to get into the pop game and he said if they came up with the Danny Phantom Pop and I was like they don't have that and my other coworkers like I think they do and I'm like no we would have known about that looked it up it came out the week prior, and it was all sold out. I was very upset because I absolutely love the show Danny Phantom. Um, it was one of my favorite Nickelodeon shows growing up, and I just, you know, I really wanted the pop. And because it looks really, really cool. Like, it has a little plasma fist there, and he's in, like, little ghost mode, and it's just really, really cool. And it's the only one of the series so far. They may come out with some more later, but yeah. Needless to say, uh, really wanted the pop. And uh, I wasn't going to get it uh, for a while because it was going up in price on Amazon and eBay to about like 30 to $40. And I try to buy only things at the, you know, suggested retail price as much as I can or less. I don't try to go above if I don't have to. But uh, in this situation, I really wanted it. And I was talking about it a lot. And I was planning on buying it for myself after Christmas if I had some more, you know, income. But uh, my wife really came through and surprised me with this. Um, that she had acquired it for me, and it comes with a little plastic case. I don't know which eBay or Amazon store she bought it from, but shout out to them for really sending me a quality product here. Um, and I was really happy. It really, really, really touched my heart. Just because, you know, it like I know some of you guys are probably thinking like, oh, a wife should do that. She she should pay attention to her husband. And and I do want to say my wife does a really good job of paying attention to me on what I want and you know who I am as a person. But it just really, like, the fact that she cared this much and, you know, really paid attention to get it. Um, and she did the smart thing by telling me before Christmas that she got it for me because I would have bought it myself. But um, it just really, really made uh, made me feel really, really good inside. And I um, really liked it and I really appreciate this gift. So, yeah. Um, so, in return, my wife did say that she wanted something for Christmas. Uh, my wife ended up getting roller skates for Christmas, which I, you know which we got for her, and she's currently using them even before Christmas. But the one thing that she, she doesn't know that she got is actually a huge surprise, and hopefully she gets a chance to open this before this video goes live on Christmas Day because uh, it should go live around 5 o'clock, and uh, due to certain circumstances, I can't guarantee that she won't see this video before we get home. Hoping for no traffic on Christmas Day. Let's go. But uh, she has a Pandora bracelet, and I got her a, a charm. She said she wanted one, and I made it very clear that I wasn't going to be able to get one for her because of just financial reasons, but um, I did. And if you guys cannot see it, it is a Mickey and Minnie Mouse with a little heart in between, and also it has a little heart, little pendant right there too. She does not know that she's getting this. She actually believes that she'll be getting one in January um, due to, like I said, due to financial reasons. You know, it's, uh, it's hard on these streets. But um, I did acquire it for her, um, and it's a complete surprise. At least I hope it's a complete surprise. I mean, I don't, I, I've told very few people. Hopefully none of them have uh, spilled the beans and revealed to her what she's getting. But I'm looking forward to Christmas Day, and hopefully she enjoys it. Um, it really did mean a lot to me that she got me the Danny Phantom Pop, so I think she'll really love this because she does love Disney, and she does love Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. And uh, this, we were supposed to go to Disney World this year, but we weren't able to make it due to covid but this hopefully really, really makes her happy, um, and she deserves it. She's been a really good wife to me, and uh, yeah, 
So this YouTube video has been an upload uh, for to say Merry Christmas to everybody out there as well as Merry Christmas to my wife. And it's been kind of a video about my wife and uh, how much I really appreciate that she's done for me and how much I love her. So yeah, if there are any uh, questions, comments, or concerns about that, keep them to yourselves. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and if you celebrate Kwanzaa, Happy Kwanzaa. Hanukkah's already over. So happy belated Hanukkah. I don't know if that counts, but whatever.